This next radical equation that we have, you've noticed it has two radicals in it. Well, the process is going to be roughly the same. Isolate the radical and work the problem through. In this case, though, we're going to have to work with one radical at a time. So I'm going to add this radical to both sides. So I'm left with 3x plus 1, root 3x plus 1, equals x plus 4 plus 1. Let's square both sides. I'd be left with a 3x plus a 1 equals, now remember when we square this guy, it's the first term squared plus 2 times this term times that term plus that term squared. Just again, some of those little factoring shortcuts that we practiced a lot on. I squared both sides, but Willie, I still have a radical here. You said they would go away. Well, they do go away. But in this problem, we started with two radicals. So I had to do this process again. So let's clean it up a little bit and isolate the radical. Subtract x from both sides. 2x. A 4 plus a 1 is a 5. Subtract a 5. Gives me a negative 4. Square both sides. This gives me 4x squared minus 2 times a times b, uh, which is 16. x plus 16 equals this side squared, which is 4x plus 4. 2 squared, 4 root x plus 4 squared, just x plus 4. All right, let's clean it up a little bit. Some of these problems we get to practice over and over again, uh, or that there's lots of work and so we get to take up a lot of space. But the one good thing is let's do it step by step so we make sure we see everything that's going on. And that you, you can look back at it and see, all right, here's what I did from this step to the next step. There's one change, so I know where it happened at. Subtract 4x from both sides gives me a 20x. Uh, subtract 16 from both sides goes away. I'm left with a zero. I'm going to divide everything through by 4. So divide this side by a 4, decide by that by a 4. Only reason is, is that I think I can kind of reduce the problem down a little bit. So I'm left with an x squared minus a 5x equals a 0. Factor this guy in. So I have x equals x minus 5 equals 0. My two solutions then are 0 and positive 5. And I want to check both of those solutions into this original equation to find out if both of these solutions are indeed real, true solutions. And I'll leave that check for you. I trust my work.